slow dance pretty fast today, actually. That's surprising. It was pretty slow the other day. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Ostrok Renegade, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, we're now on what I believe to be about, I think it's like the fifth part now. So, let's see, last time we recruited Horsemaster Dennett, so now we're able to change our mounts and everything. And we also have a couple other things that we started to work on as well. Uh, mostly side quests. We didn't do really any big main so plot things last time. To both mages and Templars. All right, so let's see something. Let me make sure my pack is not still like super- yeah it's still super full. Okay, so what we need to do first before we go anywhere we need to make sure everybody's using good equipment. Alright, yeah, we equipped Sierra with something last time, but we're gonna get her something better. What's this bad boy? A uh, funny thing about the bows and stuff, you always see uh, Restriction, not Varric, because the only bow that Varric uses is Bianca. And that's because he's really just used that since... forever ago? So it makes sense that he would only use Bianca. Alright, uh, we're not going to change anything here, or here, or here. Uh, and Bianca is upgradable, so when you uh, put in new pieces, it actually does get stronger, like right now. Oh yeah, it did, okay. I was confused a second, okay. Alright, let's see, where are we going to give Iron Bull? Uh, Dwarven Rock Crusher, that sounds pretty great. Right. Now, armor wise. We're going to make sure Varric gets the best armor first of all, because he's always with us. Then we go, we go from companions that are always with us so that they have the best stuff to those who really aren't always with us, so they don't get as great of stuff. Sorry, not sorry. That's how it goes. Wait a minute, is that better than mine? Almost. Better otherwise stats. Fuck yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a change up for that. Cassandra, we can use that. Oh god, that's ugly. I'm glad she's got that one. That one's just... Is some ugly armor. I don't comment much on armor, but that piece is just absolutely atrocious. Okay. Yep, Barry's got good armor. Why does it not look. Oh, because he can't equip it yet. Okay. Well, for humans. Humans. There's that. I don't know why he's got that, but okay. Oh, and we can finally use our, um, Vitar. He can actually equip to- it depends on basically what you want. You want to try to keep with, uh, the Intense. It's usually going to be a little stronger, which is good for him. And apparently it's, a uh, yellow, so. And that's basically it for the most part of stuff I have. Um... 
belt of health. Um, I got an idea who needs that. Enhanced belt of health. Okay, um... Let's see, spirit resistance, sounds good. I don't, I won't use, I don't... I think parry is a dagger ability, we're not gonna use that. That, cause you don't need any extra health. Uh, let me see something. a belt. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Alright, then we got a whole a few things here we can sell. Uh, yeah, it should be good. And with this we just basically go through, find the best ones, and sell the rest. So, you're going to valuables, you're going to valuables, and you're going to valuables. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can't use yet. That sucks. So we're gonna go sell some valuables. I've got a, something else to go get done real fast, and we can go from there. Master Harrod said we weren't to sell Inquisition Blades. What Harrod doesn't know will hurt. And, and the reason I try to move all my unused blades and things to valuables is just because it's a lot... It's a lot easier to sell them without accidentally selling something you don't mean to. Which can be a real pain if you accidentally sell the wrong thing. I don't know why I'm buying those. I already have all the schematics. Oh, we need to talk to, um, we'll talk to Krim real fast and then Arm will. Can I help you with anything? Uh, what's happening? I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. The Chief. First time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a Canary, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. He keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Well, it isn't like that. The charges might give him more lip than you'd expect, but every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. How did a Tevinter soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble, trying to flee Tevinter. A Tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Well, killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. That's how he lost the eye? 
Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Bull came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flare. Bull put himself between me and the blow. They called an idiot. Didn't even know me. Is it strange to work for a Kunari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kune, if that's what you're asking. Bull's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasrath, I'd have thought he'd left that life behind. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. We'll talk later. Well, that wasn't what I was going to ask, but okay. Oh, that's irritating. Oh, fine. Fine game. Fine. We'll go over here and talk to Iron Bull. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kanari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Leliana's been pulling the strings of the Inquisition ever since it started. Red's your spy master, not your leader. I don't see her standing in the spotlight anytime soon. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions. ...and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you sealed the breach. The Chantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. What can I do for you? So... How did you get... I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just... I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? What I've heard about them sounds fascinating. What you've heard was mostly horse shit. All right. <laughs> what do you want to know? I just like how honest he is. What's it like growing up under the Kun? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers, or Chantry sisters. They also helped figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Ben Hasra. That must have been a good day for you. Yes. It's like being a block of stone with a sculptor working on you. One day, the last of the crap gets knocked off, and you can see your real shape. What you're supposed to be. That's a good day. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Well, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Valroyo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolan does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the Cube. 
Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. Their Tamasrans will pop your cork whenever you need it. Seriously? <laughs> yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing that takes all day, leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. See you next week. Whatever. I could work with that. <laughs> I know, right? No drama. Still, it's more fun here. Fewer rituals, more making it up as you go along. Plus, you folk have redheads. <laughs> redheads. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orlay or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages. Can you imagine Solas trying his fade dreaming under the cube? Or Vivian doing her political bullshit? Both Sarah and Varric would mouth off until they ended up re-educated, drugged until their minds broke. So, to answer your question, no, I don't think about it much at all. How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kunari should live in theory, the matriarchy makes it work in practice, and the military keeps the Kunari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Olay, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Kunari, the Ben Hasrath sets you straight, or kill you. The word Kunari, is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kuhn are the Vidathari. The Kunari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvasha, deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kuhn? The people we came from. They're called the Kasseth, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thedas because the Kasseth were. I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. See you later. See you. Nope. Okay. Have you seen the horses Master Dennis sent the Inquisition? They're magnificent. I'm trying to think. There's like a thing. She's got to go to Griffith. 
that's good. I don't know what happens there. I'm glad that finally got itself taken care of. Do, 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 do. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and forge a pommel fine. while we're here. I don't need a whole lot in a pommel. I just need something I can beat someone to death with. I mean, come on. There's nothing smooth about this problem. Nothing. Look at that one. More strength or constitution, we're gonna go with that. More strength. And... Well, that's a lot of choices. I don't wanna flank anybody, so useless. Sundering would be useful, but... Critical damage bonus. Throw chance. We'll use some of this nug skin we've gotten recently. That'll be useful. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get a pommel. Put it on our stuff. Looks fine. Alright. So, we're to this point. Okay. So, now we got all that housekeeping taken care of, we're going to get ourselves wandering back into Thebes for a little bit. We've got a couple more things to do in the Hinterlands, and then I'll kick off our big quest line. So, after our last time we got our key to Valimar, so we're probably going to go ahead and just go to Valimar first. I think that's where we're going to start our quest. I think that's where I said we were going to start last time. I was going to clear out all those, but... Who's got time to do that right now? Not me. So I'll start down here. Alright. Let's go bust some heads together. Woohoo! Alright. Alright, and now that's live, so that's good. Nothing 
Some. Okay, that's just the waterfall. That was not. Oh, wait, I think I have enough to actually make that one thing if somebody can get out of the way. Look. N nope, I don't have enough yet. I need. Not that, that's for something else. I need. Two more velveteen, one more decorative gem. So hopefully we can get that while we're in Valmar. Finish that, get another power, and hopefully shortly get stuff. I like this armor though. Trees, trees, more trees. I think I, I, I kind of enjoyed the hinterlands. It's a lot of fun to just We've wander. Hey, the region for resources, commander's orders. No I'm small task control. given recent troubles, but I've some supplies here you may find useful. That was so not useful. <laughs> All right, let's pick up some of this armor. Oh, My way, peasant. Alright, we're gonna get this up earlier, so let's go get this door open and say hello. Must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. Do, 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 do. Oh, you look, Carta. Starting here. Well, I didn't take one. All right. So, something to read. Cardinal on security. We should be more secure enough. We should be secure enough from outsiders. More concerned about attracting dark spawn from the lower levels. We don't have the manpower to push them farther in. Keep the product on the upper levels and barricade the bridge. Yeah. That? Yeah, you kick it open. So many weird noises. 
Let's, let's move. Come on. Another reading. Deface card I notice. Much of Valmar remains closed to us. Anyone interested in changing that should be here tomorrow, one hour past noon. T. See if notes have been scrawled below this note. Stop wasting time on that damn door. I don't care what's behind it. The mechanism's broken. More importantly, who cares? We have product to move, and if you want to see if some ancient dwarf locked up the good tea set, we're shorthanded as it is. If I hear you taking another group to the lower levels in search of gears, I'll make you sorry. Hell. First of all, I think this place used to be a trade post. There could be something valuable behind that door. And just how will you make me sorry? I'll use my imagination. And knives. Man, these guys just really know how to make friends. Oh boy, loot! And another reading. Here at first Liska, now Brenor. Caught him trying to steal some of the product. Just a little bit, just to keep, he said. No shit. I'm trying to make a little extra on the side, thinking I wouldn't notice. I will not be undermined. Your cousin said if we your cousin said we could trust Brenor, so you handle it. If I'm not happy, you won't be either. 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 Oh. Alright, let's go down here and see what we can find. Dark spawn. These won't Holy. be the last. We may be. This place is huge. I always forget how big this place is. There's a gear. We don't have the gear quest yet, but that's okay. We're gonna take it any who's. Mosaic. Is that the right mosaic? Yes. Almost saw that one. The mosaics are fun because if you actually get them finished, then there's a story that goes along with them. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing in here. No, thank you. Nope, that's it. It's really big, but there's not much in it. wondered how darkspawn have gold, but I guess that since darkspawn are made from other creatures, I guess they could be made of gold. Or they could have gold, like... The darkspawn are coming up through here. We must see the dark. Oh, 
That holds the dark spawn back. I, I saw someone on something. I don't remember what I was looking at. They made a comment about how when it comes to the dark spawn and things like that, like them just patching it up with boards are like, you know, that's ridiculous because you need more than that to actually carry spells so like, well, you know, not really. You don't really need because it's not a blight, so it's not like they're all trying to get out. They all just kind of wander around happen to get out on their own. Part of me wonder since there's been so much speculation about the fourth one if we're gonna go into another blight. Or or what we're gonna do. That's that's my thought right now. I'm wondering what exactly we're going to get up to right now. Hi everybody. of what what to expect. Oh, another reading. Orders for lake operations. Check on the operations at the lake. Make sure they're doing their jobs down there. Don't let them give you shit about the wildlife. I don't care. Take Liska with you. Give her something to do. She's been on edge complaining about humming or some nonsense. If she can't handle the job, deal with it. Humming is always an interesting thing when we talk about dwarves because dwarves sense Lyrium. Lyrium hums. Report activity on the hin in the hinterlands. The soldiers call themselves the Inquisition. They've been helping refugees near Red Cliff, poking around a fair bit too, though they haven't come near here. They have someone with a trick for closing those rifts. Claims she's some sort of prophet. Zealous no shit if you ask me. Must be one fast talking elf to get a bunch of humans fall for that. Not sure what she's after, but if those mercenaries do their job, we won't have a problem. Still keep an eye. They've been watching our movements. Personal, I've scrawled in a ledger. It's good though, Red. It's good though, Red. With the Templar severing Tys Chantry, we should find buyers easy enough. It has to be the right buyer though. Don't want anyone who will get ideas. We need to control distribution. Travel across Lake Callan had is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source, the take could be huge. Once we have a firm grip on the current situation, we can look into expansion. Or, you know, you could not. That'd be good. Can we just not spread red lyrium? That'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. There's another reading. Star Tansy will ask Nobles of Orsmar how their kingdom gets silks and cream and wine from the surface. And they'll tell you trade with the surface occurs. It occurs as if on its own. With no traders or merchants or human farmers involved, a little miracle of dwarven ingenuity. The reality is a lot messier than their fantasy. Orzmar relies on, upon the surface not just for its prosperity, but for its survival. Ages of blights have taken thousands of tigers away from the dwarves. These were the places where most of the food was raised, the dwarven kingdom that endured alone, independent beneath a stone from the immemorial perished in the first blight, faded into myth. Now the remaining dwarves underground cling to existence through a lifeline to the surface, a chain forged from the castlist. Every dwarf who goes to the surface is stripped of cast, effectively exiled and removed from, Orzmar, from dwarven society forever. The Orzmar relies on continued relations with these exiles to live. This has created a shadow area of dwarven trade and politics where the rich, powerful, and elite maintain secret ties to people who, by official decree, no longer exist. And everyone knows what kind of things lurk in the shadows. The Carta live in the underbelly of the surface trade like a tapeworm. Many surface dwarves maintain ties, not officially recognized, of course, but respectable to their former house and the noble or merchant castes. And those contracts are their means of trading with Orzammar. Those who have no ties because they were cast off by their families or never had good connections make the trip back underground and trade with Orzammar personally, where they find themselves treated like criminals. A castless and Orzammar, even a wealthy one from the surface, will be driven away from most merchants Treat like he's carrying a plague at best. So these surface merchants turn to the Carta for help. The Carta acts as a contact in Orzammar for surface business and sells their good on the black market. Goods on the black market. 
for a cut, of course. The carta always gets it cut. It's cut. Dowry citizens of Orsmar sometimes petition the assembly to deal with the rampant crime surrounding the black market, and showy displays were made of kicking in the doors to Carta hideouts and raising dust town. But the card always comes back because the assembly always allows it. Too much of Orzammar is dependent on the black market trade, and the nobles know it. They all do business with the Carta. Everyone has a stake in its success. The Carta has thousands of faces above and below the surface. Honest merchants and noble caste lords and else upstanding members of the merchant's guild. All a cover for the thousands more smugglers, thieves, and murderers in the shadows. The lifeline of Orzmar, praise the ancestors. <laughs> Excerpted from Dark Town Steel by Ferric Tethers. <laughs> That's why it just dripped of absolute disdain and unhappiness. Oh, anybody who doesn't know, Ferric has a very firm dislike of. The deep roads and to some degree has no real love for Orzmar because you never grew up there. And really, when you're from somewhere but you never live or grow up there, it's kind of hard to care. Or at least that's what the story is. Some people make their living from valuables they find in the deep roads. Look, everybody, we found stuff. And we found things. Taking my mosaic that I found. Just make sure nobody else is coming out of the hole. Hey, there's loot back here. Alright, let's get back out of here. It's always so interesting to me. Of course, this, this area is actually pretty close to the surface, so it's not such a big deal. And some of these, you don't have little pockets of the surface, and stuff still grows. More loot. Ooh, that'll be useful. Just as a little helpful reminder, if you're ever going through an area and you're sweeping, make sure you search a lot all the way back here just to go pick it up. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to get done and then have to come back. Okay, let's get out of here. Whoa, what we missed? Oh. Break stone and a ladder. So real fast we're actually gonna go down this ladder. <laughs> or just jump down, that works too, I guess. You may be thinking. Why did she just jump down just to get 60 gold? That's not a lot of gold. Man, you get gold where you can until you get real established. Once you get later in the game more established and actually getting more stuff, and more high level stuff, you, you can be a little more picky and be like, oh, I'm not going to go all the way down there for that little measly cut of stuff, but I wish they'd let you like go more places in this area. Like, how do I get up there? I want to go up there. I want to go like all over the place here. Especially like in these other rooms. That's what I want. 
I love the openness of it, I just wish I could do it. Just a little bit. Get, now that we got all this stuff done in Valmar, Valmar, I'm gonna go over and I think I gotta look at. I'm gonna look at the journal when we get back into Hinterlands because Valmar is technically not quite in Hinterlands, like a separate mini area. So you have to go back in the main area to do anything. Now we're back in our area. Now we can figure out where we're going. Which is good. Finding out where we're going is always a positive. You don't want to not know where you're going. So in the hinterlands. Rift, 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 rift. I need to do these rifts. Hang on. We gotta go back to the Whitaver at some point, but we're gonna wait a little bit. Um, we're gonna go do, I think, yeah, we're gonna go do, go do uh, Blood Brothers first. That's what we're gonna do. And Blood Brothers is way over here. So we're going to have to go down here and then make our way up down. Quote unquote up down. Just up the map until we get to where we're going. I don't know. I need to stop by this merchant. I actually have it. I try not. For this playthrough, I'm not stopping by a lot of merchants just because I don't want you guys to get bored. Now I get bored. So, I'm just kind of stopping if I think uh, they might have something useful for me. Do they have something useful for me all the time? No. Do I try to stop anyways? It's good yeah. to have commerce restored. I've many goods here. So like I said, if there's anything you guys want to see me do more of, just, just send me a message, a DM, something. I don't care if you're seeing this live on Twitch or... Even, even if you're watching this on... PlayStation. Just let me know. Hit me up. Let me know what you want. We'll do it. Yeah, no, we don't have to go over here. Watch but yourself. Bandits up ahead. Or something anyway. They're blocking the road. You don't think that bandits wait until people are vulnerable, then hit them fast so nobody escapes. These bastards show themselves too early. They care more about driving people away than taking loot. They're either stupid. Or they're more than just bandits. And they're too well armed for stupid. Tell me what can you tell me about the attackers on the road? Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. If you head out there, careful you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. Thanks for the warning. We'll go that way a little later. We're not going to go over there right now. We've got some other things we need to do. Um, I think I was, was going to say something. Um, if you're just now tuning in and say you're like, I really want to watch her play this beginning in, uh, don't fear. On my Twitch, you can find all of these on Twitch. I have them all recorded and if you're not watching it, and if you don't want to do that, I have I have the same gamer tag for my same here. tag for my Better take uh, a closer look. Uh, I'm trying to talk. I have the same tag for my uh, YouTube so. found on a dead Templar, Templar Corrin. In light of current hostilities, I believe our arrangement is no longer satisfactory. 
You are unable to reach me with payment, and I have no means of delivering the merchandise to you. I hope that when this unfortunate situation is solved, maybe months again to do business. Tanner. Haha. <laughs> Tanner. Good old Tanner. We're gonna go have to have a great chat with Tanner here in a minute. And if you've been watching for a little while, there was a character named Tanner back in one of the places we were at. Back at Redcliffe. So we're gonna go back and want me to handle that? Go chitter chatter with her and figure out what's up. Her smuggling things, I guess. We'll figure out what she's smuggling. That would be good. Yes. Bottles of Thetis, Butterball, seven eighty four. Hard liquor that's not so much served as it is brandish, coarse and indifferent. It is to your taste, or it is not. The failing of yours, if you cannot raise or lower to the challenge of a distiller told not to. Alright. Alright, so not much not much going on here. Other than this poor guy got killed by his brother. Who we then killed ourselves. Because we're so nice. Just sticking up the little guy. Windmill. I love these things. I think they're pretty great. Can't get into it. It's all boarded up. But I just think they're neat. I think they're cool. I mean, if you think about it. In the kind of technology we're dealing with here, windmills and things are usually used for, well, grinding up, you know, grinding up grain and stuff. It's kind of important. Oh my god, I actually made it. Can I drop in? Yes, I can. Hey, I haven't been in here yet. Hey! Yeah, most people in Ferelden, they usually have like swords and daggers or stabs or something. They will probably kill you if you just drop in their house. So make sure the house is empty before you drop in. Or if it's not, they'll all be like, Oh my god, you dropped in! Where'd you go from? Heaven has been filled with silence. Chanting. Ferelden soldiers. Sounds a little bit like they're saying like Rufio. What are you saying? I don't understand. Speak clearly. Alright, back into Redcliffe. There's such an easier way. Get those stairs. I ain't got time for that. I hope Root is good. Gotta go talk to the widower real fast. The Inquisition. Thank them. Tell me you're here to reinstate the circles and end this madness. Um, who are you? I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Hanley Durvain of the Cumberland Circle of Magi. I heard of your miraculous survival at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and I am so honored to meet you. Well, why do you want the circle? I thought this was the stronghold of the rebellion. Hmm. Why do you want the circles back? I never supported this rebellion. I'm a loyal Ondrastian, and I deplore the chaos this war has wrought. The Templars rebelling, the murder of the Most Holy. I can scarce live with the guilt. Th then what are you doing in Redcliffe? The Circles voted. Rebellion won out. What was I to do? Launch a counter-rebellion on my own? I followed my first Enchanter's lead, as I always have. She brought us here. I take it you don't support the Tevinters. Oh, Drastis ashes never. They don't even sing the right chant. And they sacrifice children, don't they? I don't know how the Grand Enchanter could think of accepting their offer. You can get us out of this bargain, can't you? Before we're all shipped off to the Imperium like cattle. I haven't seen anyone from Tevinter in the village. They're all at the castle. Plotting, no doubt. One Thank little you for your time. bugger in the back. It's been an honor. Go around, lady. My God! All right, going. We. You want to do more to help? Yeah, I was gonna climb damage. Do you mean it? 
I do not suppose you found my Senna's shrine. I know it is a position. I cleaned Senna's shrine and placed the flowers. May her ashes be gathered by Falundine and carried safely. After all the long years she carried me. Thank you. You do a foolish old man too much kindness. Maseranus, Dalen, take this with my gratitude. Senna would have wanted you to have it. No, you're welcome. Okay, where's Tanner, that little prick? I'm gonna deal with him right now. Her. Oh, yeah, it's her. Good day. Oh, Tanner! I need to have a chit chat with you. Hey. Make her watch over you. I found the letter you sent a Templar named Corin. What? Shit. You can't prove anything. A letter from a rogue Templar. Nobody is going to care. So, what do you intend to do? Hmm. Well, what kind of cut are they giving you? Have you got protection? I see a suspicious lack of guards. And it looks to me like you've been cut loose. Maybe you should look for a new employer. Are you serious? The high and mighty Inquisition needs smugglers? Sure. All right. I'm in. Seems like the Inquisition is the safer bet these days. All right. Yeah, another agent. Agents are good. They say on draft they sent you to save the world. If it'll help save lives and bring peace, I'll be the first to believe. I'm trying. I hope I don't disappoint. I hope so too. I don't see any other priests in the village. Where is everybody? The Magister had the others escorted out for their own safety, but I refused. He can throw me out if he wants. Until then, I tend to my flock. Are you working for the Mage Rebellion? Mages are children of the Maker, no less than the rest of us. They struggle no less with questions of faith. Does that mean you support their freedom? Given a choice between the Circle and Death, most mages willingly gave up some small freedoms for safety. But the pendulum swings, and now it seems any restraint is too much. I think they should have a chance to prove they deserve freedom. What are your feelings? The Imperium burned on Draste. Since then, we have led four exalted marches against them. Yet in all those marches, they still acknowledged the Maker. Now I speak of him and the Magister's laugh. Something has happened, and I dread to learn what. I will leave you to your duties. Make us feed you, my child. All right. Moving on. We need... Oh yeah, we need to go talk to that guy. The hill up the hill here. Please, are you with the Inquisition? As you've wandered, have you by any chance seen a ram that is, um, different? Lord Wolseley wandered off, and he's very special. If you could find him, I'd be most grateful. What do you mean, special? What makes your ram so special? Well, he's always brought the family luck, and his advice helped us make our fortune. Your ram offered advice? He's a very special ram. Your ram has gone missing. Yes. I'm certain that if he heard his Jimmy missed him, he'd come right back. He's likely at our family's old summer cabin. It's by the lake in the southern hills. If you do find him and send him back, I'd be happy to pay you. I'll speak with you later. If you find my ram, please send him home. All right, Jimmy, I'll go find Lord Woolsey. Reading. We are not reading a ballad. 
but it's about nuggins. Alright, so we need to jump. Not there. We're gonna go find Lord Woolsey. Yep, that's what we do in the Inquisition. We go find things. Yep. Sure, let's go with that. And we'll go find Druffy. The Druffalo. That's a normal ram. We saw Lord Pulsey, we just gotta find him again. Our Lord Pulsey should be up here. I presume. A young man named Jimmy would very much like you to return home. Ah, good. Ah, well, hmm, very good. Less things I have to do. Alright, so let's travel, fast travel up here so that we can go find Druffy. And hopefully not die. Not dying would be good. I'm sure I uh, didn't point that one closer. Or not. We won't do that. I leveled up, so we're gonna level up stuff. Alright, and nobody else has leveled up yet, so... No harm on that. Alright, so let's go find Ruffy. Ruffy shouldn't be too far. We'll go ahead. I think we should be at a good enough level. We should be able to go deal with that. God forbidden stupid rift over here. Kill us. done and take care of. Right 
now we're gonna go get Druffy. Now nah, Druffy shouldn't be far. Should be right around here somewhere. I'm not going too far though. Yeah, probably. Yep, too far. Let's turn around. Okay. So now with that rift gone, it's gonna be a lot safer getting the Gruffalo back down through here. Let's move on through here. Gully of the Burnt Men. Sounds wonderful. It's a great place to take the kids for vacation. Gully of Burnt Men. Alright. Hey, there's Druffy. Okay, Druffy, let's go home. Oh, I'm fast. I'm gonna go. Hey, come here. So this is the Red Heart. I'm gonna take him. He's gonna help me lead my friend Druffy back. Okay, let's go left. Come on, Druffy. You coming, Druffy? Come on. Oh, let's go home. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, and you don't want to run off from Druffy because then you have to go back and get him. Come on, Druffy. Come on. Come on, big fellow. Let's go home. Come on. Alright, moving on. Slide trophy. Mom. Come on, trophy. Come on. Come on, Druffy. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go back home. Come on, Druffy. Come on. That dude just practically walked through that. I'm not, no. You can turn. I'm walking. I'm taking my Druffy off. Come on, Druffy. Come on. I think just walking on the wall. Come on.
Come on, Druffy, come on. Oh, come on, Druffy, come on. Druffy. Go around the dang fence. Get in there, come on. Go on. Get in there. Go. Skip. In there. Thank you. I, I appreciate you finding her. And I'll see to it that this never happens again. rest here for a minute. Need to go. Still need more of that stuff. Okay, let's get back up here. Alright, where are we at? We need to go could go deal with that. But we actually need to go up here and deal with that. And there's something else on up the mountain. If you go up there, then you go check out. Come on. Whoa. Actually, no, wait. I just remember something. We actually need to go the other way. We need to go do something here. And if we go up through here, there's some stuff we can do before we go deal with some other stuff. Because if we do all that, we can go back to that one place up in the mountains. Uh, the little place where all the it's not me. crazy cult people were. Come on. I like this mount. It's a red heart. I like it a lot better than most of the other ones because it's very easy to maneuver. It isn't a very hard ride. It's pretty simple actually. Search, the ancient elves may have set up war. If we can find the artifacts they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. Less tears are good. There's less demons. Demons are good. Where'd she go? She's like just here. Alright, fine then.
That's not normal fire. I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called Veil Fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic. A memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. Veilfire must be making the runes legible. Varric, you joined the Inquisition when Seeker Pentagast questioned you. Oh, she was very insistent that I help. Interesting. What's interesting? It's surprising that an elven apostate is the one who joined the Inquisition voluntarily. are helping to strengthen the veil. This area should be safer for travelers now. Hooray. All right, so we're going to go deal with some bandits and then we're going to go around to the mountains over by the uh, farms and deal with some of that stuff. Yeah. And I used to just try to throw down the veil fire just to get out of my hands, but uh, another thing you can just do, which is not a big deal, but something else that happens is when you leave the cave that it's in, you usually won't carry it far. Unless you're in a cave area. We could make camp here. We find another edge to the map. Yay!
Charge hard. Not much here. Couple rips. Not important. So now we're gonna jump back up here. Turn your time here. You shouldn't have to go too far. Ha! Oh my god. What do I have in my inventory that I could just get rid of? Well, that's something. Alright, there's nothing up here yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up this way. Falling the river a little bit. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna fall this way just for a little bit. We're all gonna go down into this little area. Or maybe we will, I don't know. We'll go check it out. Letter of Abandoned Campsite, come to me, my love, the dreams have guided you this far. Now write these words with your own hand for you, re for you to read when you wake. You are so close. Come to the tree on the hill where the stone lady stands, being bearing the landris so that I know you, and we can finally be together forever. Well, that's not creepy or anything. No. I don't have any, f I haven't even found any of that stuff yet. Might find some on the way. We'll see. The lantris is not quite something that's found in the hinterlands. I mean, you can find it, but it's not like the plant of choice. Let's see if we can find some on the way up there. Alright. Oop. There's some Alfred over here. There's something over here. More elf root, which we had like 30 some, but it's it's good to have some more. And where we got that perk where it lets us gather a couple plants sometimes in one pull, we have we have a chance to get a lot more elf root than we did before. Okay, I need solace and water. So I can take it. Okay. So we're taking the magical fire with us? Yup. Sounds legit. Right around the way. Yay, mosaic bees. We have 10 out of 12, which means we only need to find two more pieces. God, I don't remember where the other pieces are. Hang on. You guys can kill them. I'm gonna go ahead and kill you. Let's this freezer. Not a lot 
lot of useful things, but a few. Downstairs. Loot. Got a claymore, that's useful. Alright. Oh, there's another mosaic piece, so we have 11 out of 12 now. Which means we only need to find one more. Frost rune. That's why you always want to check all these derelict caves that just kind of show up. It's like, oh! I wonder what's this? Hmm. Took around a second, I'm trying to think. Oh, never mind, we keep going. Okay. Everywhere it is good to see the Inquisition helping the refugees. It seems no one else will. Yep. All right, so there really should, if I remember, there should be Flanders up on this hill, but maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. I'm not chasing the bear.
Mothroth of Penem, a statue of Mothroth grieving after the death of his wife, the prophet Andraste, whom he betrayed out of jealousy. Yeah, what else? Hang on, there's loot back here. Hey, come here, bear. Fast. Not the journal. The codex. Places. Oh yeah, no, we can't find uh, Flanders here, so we're gonna have to go to another area that actually has it before we can come back and finish this quest. Which is good, that means I have a chance to leave here, pick up some other things we need, and move on. So actually, we're gonna go over here and do this real fast. Okay, do, do one of these trims. I don't think we've done one yet. No, I don't think so. I'm not familiar with this. All right, Astrarium. They allow you to unlock secrets of the heavens. Create, recreate the image of a constellation by connecting the stars without making the same line twice. All right, so we're gonna go. gonna say this now. You, the lines can cross, but you cannot double back on a line. It will cancel it out. It won't work. You have to restart it. And some of these are easier than others. Some of these are like, okay, make two boxes. Done. Other ones, it's some sort of complicated. I don't know. It becomes a bit of an issue. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to the fellow who owns Lord Woolsey. Let him know we found his we found his wonderful and special ram. And then we're gonna go. And actually, I'm trying to think what we're gonna do. can't go in where it's pinging from. Moving on. Alright, I'm gonna go up there. Red Cliff's really doing well from light, that's nice. Hey, guess what? I found Woolsey. Lord Woolsey came back! He says you convinced him. Here, for all your trouble. Hooray! And all my squad mates. Leveled up. Set me. Okay, let's go into here. Alright, no cooldown sounds good. Over here, we're gonna do ice armor so that he can be a little more protected. 
And in Varric's tree, we're going to go... Caltrops. You know, bleeding, that way it lasts longer. Alright. So... I think what we're going to go ahead and do is right before save I'm going to head back to Haven and I'm trying to think We're going to go to the war table we're going to check stuff, see if I have any other quests to do, and we'll go from there. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to drop off this creature stuff we picked up. Turn in you're not stuff. using them later, Segret is willing to pay. I don't feel comfortable letting parts from demons be available for sale. To be honest, I'm not sure I would buy them. Let me get some war council, talk to them real fast. Some quests done. Gather influence or whatever else we get together right now. Any new perks yet? Alright, we have one. Let's do Liliana. I understand that I have you to thank for the sudden arrival of proof of John Gaspar's heritage. The Grey Warden's love poems were most convincing, although his decision to rhyme falling with calling was less so. Regardless, Jean Gaspard has lost all claim to the duchy. Monet wishes no ill for her uncle and has asked that he and the men loyal to him join the Inquisition. With luck, Jean Gaspard might regain in deeds the honor that he no longer may claim through blood. The young duchess herself is quite aware that she has you to thank for her position and she has pledged the City of Lides to the Inquisition's cause. Yours in gratitude, Mother Renette. Renee. Renette. Something. We got a shield. Woohoo! Alright. Strange chalk markings. We got anything else going on? Oh yeah, over here. Locate weapon of Tirda Bright Axe. Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirda's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with magically reinforced crystal and head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently, the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe, in fact, merely means hafted weapon. It's possible that translation of the saga has been edited to omit evidence that Tirda Brodax may have been using what seems, from all appearances, to be a staff, as would be com more commonly used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in the matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translations in the future. Your sister Dorcas, Baron. Got Tirda staff. Yeah, boy. Oh, Bog Unicorn. We're gonna go pick him up. Bog Unicorn's great. Let us begin. The creatures arrived is just unnerving as it expected. I didn't read it because I want you guys just to see this thing. It's spectacular. Alright, so... Let me see something. Good. Okay. I'm gonna look at something real fast. And... Alright, so... Let 
We're gonna send. We're gonna send Cullen's people just because right. it's a lot faster. We won't see. You won't get to see at this stream what comes out of it, but the general concept won't be lost. So you'll have to come back if you want to see what happens. Boom. Uh, strange chalk markings. Um, we're actually gonna send. Um, Let's send Leon, actually. Let's see what we is. have. Just because it's faster. Now, I'm sure anybody watching this keeps seeing me not do this one. I'm not going to do this one because I don't want to deal with something later. I have my reasons. Mostly because I just don't feel like it. I hate that quest so much. Okay, so we can actually- we have 37 power. We can go ahead and kick this open. Not that we're going to go there yet, but option will be there. So Liliana, with thanks to our lady ambassador, was able to study the scroll. The reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple, possibly Elven. I followed the lead and believe one such temple stands in an oasis in western approach. As to what may lie within, I cannot say. Reports of the place are cut off or have pages missing. I have yet to find a reliable first-hand account. Perhaps our soldiers can provide a better one. Enchanter Raynaud. No, we're not going there right now. That's something to wait until you have a fair amount of shards to actually go do. Just because by the time you get through the entire quest line relating to the shards, you have to have every single shard from the game. Every single one. All of the shards total. You have to have all of them. Which some people may be going, well that's a real pain to get all of them. It is, but the stuff that comes out of it's actually pretty useful. Um, maybe not for your final battle, but your final leader battle. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think for today, that's going to actually do it for our Inquisition. Or let's play Dragon Age Inquisition today. We're, I'm actually going to, um, yeah, I'm going to save and that's going to be it for the day. Because... I want to wait to do this major, the major uh, plot quest until tomorrow, just because it's a lot of time, and I don't want to make this another, uh, too long. Which I mean, these can't be too; these aren't always too long, because people show up periodically. But we're going to go ahead and save, and that's going to be it for today. We're going when we come back tomorrow, hopefully then we're going to continue on with the quest and actually do a main plot quest. So, if you want to see more of this, come on back, Ostwick Renegade on Twitch, or if you can't make it tomorrow but you still want to watch it, find me at Ostwick Renegade on YouTube and you can watch past clips much like you can on Twitch. So, either way, whether you're more of a YouTube person or you're more of a... or you're more of a Twitch person, you have those options. Um, so, I'm Oscar Renegade, and this is me signing off from Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Come back tomorrow the next day, and just come hang out with us and enjoy some really great playtime. And I do try to interact with you guys, so if you are on Twitch, don't feel shy. Please come down the chat room, we'll talk. I can, I usually answer things as I see them pop down the chat. I always have it streaming as well, so I can actually make sure I'm doing this right. So, that's it for this time. I'll see you next time. Bye!